Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is molarity, molar solution and the preparation of dilute solutions from the concentrated. Now what is molarity? Its formula and its molar solution. Preparation of molar solution. Molarity is number of moles of solute dissolved in one decimeter cube of solutions. So before going into the topic, you should know what is moles. Moles is basically mass in grams of solute divided by its molar mass. Like if I talk about solute, so we know that in preparing a solution, the substance which is present in a small amount is known as solute. But how much amount? The mass in grams of that solute divided by its molar mass is known as moles of that solute. So here in molarity we are not dealing directly with the mass in gram. Basically we are dealing with the moles of that solute and it's going to be added into one decimeter cube of a solution. It is represented by capital M. So most of the time the solutions with molarities appear in laboratories and the formula used for the preparation of molar solution will be So while talking about the formula, number of moles of solute divided by volume of a solution in one decimeter cube. And in the simpler form, we can say that we have to open this formula. Number of moles of solute means mass of solute in grams per molar mass of solute. And definitely the volume of solution in decimeter cube will be used in the denominator. So it's quite simple. We should know the grams of solute and we will divide it with its molar mass and we will get the molar mass from the periodic table and the volume of a solution will be 1 decimeter cube. In this way we can get the molarity of any solution. So how we can prepare one molar solution in labs? One molar solution is prepared by dissolving one mole of the solute in sufficient amount of water to make the total volume of that solution will be one decimeter cube. So for most of the times in making one molar solution we will take a measuring flask which is uh, we can say that labeled as one decimeter cube flask. We will add some solute in it and after that we will add such amount of water so that it will reach up to the calibration of one decimeter cube. Now here we are going to take an example of sodium hydroxide. So what is the formula? It will going to be sodium Na oxygen O and hydrogen H and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams which means sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, 16 is the mass number of oxygen and for sodium it's 23 and for hydrogen it's 1. So if you are going to add it, it will become 40 grams. Always remember for 1 molar, we will take the molar mass. Now this 40 grams will be taken, measured and then put into the flask. And after that, we have to add the sufficient amount of water to make the total volume up to 1 decimeter cube. And no doubt that the molarity increases with the increase of solute. Like if I talk about 2 molar solution, it means it will be more concentrated than 1 molar solution. Why? Because 
we increase the amount of solute and by increasing the amount the solution will become more and more concentrated so now how dilute solutions are prepared from concentrated solutions a very important question dilute solutions are prepared from a concentrated solution of known molarity it means that if you have a concentrated solution you should know that how much concentrated it is what is its molarity according to that you will be able to prepare more dilute solution suppose we want to make 100 cm cube of 0.01 molar solution now here i have the volume as we know that volume is represented by the unit centimeter cube here also remember that when we take the solutions in liquid form we going to measure them in centimeter cube and when we take the solutions in gaseous form we going to measure them in decimeter cube so always remember these units now we want to prepare 0.01 molar solution with the volume 100 cm cube from the given solution which is 0.1 molar now we all know that 0.1 molar is more concentrated than 0.01 molar so what we have to do we have to add more water let's do it Firstly, 0.1 molar solution is prepared. How we prepared the 0.1 molar solution of potassium permanganate? The formula for potassium permanganate is KMnO4, where K represents the potassium, Mn represents the manganese. Potassium permanganate KMnO4 and O is representing the oxygen. So its molar mass is 158 grams the molar mass of potassium permanganate is 158 grams but here we are talking about 15.8 grams from where we get this decimal yes that's the point we get this decimal because we are not preparing one molar solution i have told you that for one molar solution we will take the molar mass simply for one molar solution we will take the molar mass of that solute and we'll going to dissolve into one decimeter cube of a solution but here we are not preparing one molar solution we are preparing 0.1 molar solution so to satisfy this point we have also add the decimal after one number in the molar mass of potassium permanganate and we're going to add it into the water to make the total volume one decimeter cube now this is our standard solution and standard solution is that solution whose strength is known we know that what is the strength of this solution now we will going to prepare more dilute solution then 0.1 molar so we want to prepare 0.01 molar solution we have to do some calculations for this now here the question arises that how we can prepare dilute solutions from the concentrated solutions you just have to memorize this simple formula m1v1 is equal to m2v2 what are these symbols here m1 is representing the concentrated solutions molarity or we can say the standard solution the solution whose molarity is known we talked about before that in potassium permanganate we have taken 0.1 molar solution and then which strength of a solution we want to prepare that is m2 we want to dilute our solution and want to prepare 0.01 molar solution 
in how much amount in 100 cm cube now it's quite definite before preparing the solution we should know that what we want to prepare and in how much amount we want to prepare then what we have to do move the questionnaire at one side and the answers on the other side like if we know about the three we can find out the fourth one here we have the three values and we have to find out the fourth one which is v1 because m1 is 0.1 molar and m2 is 0.01 molar while v2 is 100 cm so what is the v1 v1 is basically the amount of the solute which we have to take to prepare 0.01 molar solution and that amount is 10 cm from where we get it we get it from the formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 now it's quite simple just take 10 cm cube from the concentrated solution okay the amount of volume which we want to take from the concentrated solution is 10 cm cube and then add it into a new flask in a blank empty vacant flask and move the water or put the sufficient amount of water so that it will reach up to 100 cm cube now here we get the new solution which is 0 0.01 molar so now dilute solutions from the concentrated solution i have told you before Again, take 10 cm cube of this solution as you find out it from M1V1 is equal to M2V2 with the help of graduated pipette. Now what is this graduated pipette? How we can move out 10 cm cube from 0 0.1 molar solution? We move out it with the help of an operator's which is known as pivot. Let me show it and put it in a measuring flask of 100 cm cube. Add water up to the mark of 100 cm cube and now it will become 0 0.01 molar solution of potassium per So guys, this is the pivot. It's just like a simple pipe but it's graduated having tip from one side and it is open from the both ends. How you have to take it? Put this pipette in a concentrated solution and then by putting your mouth on this side, suck the liquid. But please remember, don't suck too much that rather you ha don't have to drink it. So just suck it up to the mark like if you want to take 10 cm cube suck it up to 10 cm cube then what you have to do you have to put your thumb on the open end so that the solution which you have taken in this puppet will not move out from the other end and then take this puppet and put this liquid in the other vacant flask like in this open the thumb from the other side and the liquid will be moved out in this flask add the sufficient amount of water up to it reached 100 cm cube in this way by using this operators you can easily prepare dilute solutions from the concentrated solution Thank you so much. Have a great day. For more videos, keep watching.